We talk about tests that are used to diagnose PAD, and there's actually one that you were explaining earlier to me off camera that is used, and it's actually one of the most su successful one, which is what? It is, it's not only is it uh, one of the most, so I, here's what I would recommend. You, you go to the, the, your physician's mm -hmm. office and make sure that he or she examines your pulses in your legs, right. right? In particular, the pulses in your feet. If there's any question or you may have symptoms of mm -hmm. peripheral arterial disease, the test is called the ankle brachial index. Okay. It's a very simple test using a blood pressure cuff and a handheld Doppler, and you basically compare the pressure in your ankle to the pressure that you will take in the arm, mm -hmm. also using a handheld Doppler. And when you compare the ratio of the two, it should be 0 0.9 or greater. There should be no difference between your ankle. They should be the same. And your arm, it should be okay. exactly just about the same, 0 mm -hmm. 0.9 or greater. Anything less than that tells you within 95% specificity and sensitivity that that patient has peripheral arterial disease. Wow, and does that also give a diagnosis for maybe other vascular diseases as well? Well, absolutely. It, it, it can do it for any other, any cause of vascular disease in the limbs, mm -hmm. but it should alert you uh, to the patient if he has PAD, that patient has atherosclerosis most likely in other parts of the body, including your carotid artery. So again, right. the risk for potentially for a stroke. So the doctor may want to examine or listen for what's called a little sound that's made on the stethoscope. It's mm -hmm. called a carotid bruit, little and that is a and then indicator. that could be a narrowing in the carotid artery that can cause a risk of a stroke. Or the patient or the doctor has to also be aware that the patient has likely coronary disease and a likelihood of having uh, coronary artery disease.